Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. We're standing on an old bridge over the Herring River here in the woods of Wellfleet. 40 years ago, Lisa Brown was riding her brand new bike over whatever this looked like then. It was one of those banana seat bikes, really cool. She pitched over into the Herring River, into the mud. I guess it was pretty rough. The bike never made it out of the Herring River. I'm on the bike and maybe it's about this wide, which is what would like 24 inches be. So I'm pedaling along and I'm doing okay. And I have to get to here and I have to turn here and go on a 12 inch board. And I get just about here and my legs aren't hitting anything anymore because it's just the bicycle tire and bam, I go into the water. The Herring River. And so I went in with the bike I floated to the surface, I kicked away from the bike, and I just must have pushed the bike way into the mud. So then I dove down, trying to find the bike, couldn't get the bike, covered in stinky mud, smelling like a snapping turtle. And the bike is gone. The bike is gone. Now, 40 years later, someone thinks they found that bike. Amazingly, it was Lisa's wife, Deirdre, who was out for a stroll this spring, about a quarter mile away from the dunking of 1970. So Deirdre, tell us about the day you found this bike. Well, I was just walking down here with my dog after sitting in the car for four hours, and I passed the bike. I caught it out of the corner of my eye, and then I thought after I got a few steps beyond, wait a minute, what kind of bike was that? Saw that it was a banana seat and just about the right size for an 11-year-old girl. Everything's rusty except for the reflector light and the, the vinyl banana seat. Ah, the toxic waste of the world. Well, if it comes in a banana seat form, I'll take it. I love banana seats, man. They're so cool. Now, this could be the bike, the mythic bike of your family sort of big bike story of all time, right? Well, yeah, definitely. She comes running home and she says, I think I found your bike. I went running down there with her and lo and behold, I know that bike. That was my first bike. Somehow, that bike came from the Mighty Herring deep in the mud and traveled all the way over into that area there. When I finally walked up to the bike, it was like incredulity. I was like, wow, that's my bike. I know that's my bike. <laughs> I could tell immediately it was my bike. It was like finding a long lost friend, but it was all rusted out and trees had grown through it. and It was all mangled and everything. Oh, so oh, it's like maybe we just keep it in art form in the woods or maybe we yank it up and uh, make an art form at the house with it now. Cape Cast.